students welcome to all today session i am taking the entrance class it is very helpful for you okay so now see the first question which of the following is not correctly matched children first to identify a question as positive type of question or negative type of question here not correctly matched so this one it comes under the negative type of question children okay so here answer it is very careful okay so first option hg2cl2 calomel mercury chloride hgcl2 mercury 2 chloride corrosive sublimate sublimate hgs chinna ba k2 hgi4 plus nh3 is a nessless reagent okay so now we see one by one calomel is the chemical name for the particular formula hg2cl2 okay so hg2cl2 mercury chloride okay the commercial name calomel okay so next one hgcl2 this one talk about the nature corrosion okay so next one hgs chinna bar this one name commercial name is chinna bar okay a common uh, name uh, chinna bar okay so here this is one of the ore okay so the, it contain the sulfur so it is a sulfide type of ore and last one k2 hg i4 potassium tetra iodo mercurate 2 plus nh3 ammonia is a nessless reagent okay so children the first three is give the correctly give the give the datas okay hg2cl2 mean mercury chloride and another one calomel okay so hgcl2 talk about the nature of this mercury chloride okay two Corro corrosion corrosive sublimate hgs the name as chinna bar okay here nessless reagent now you know the meaning alkaline solution of potassium tetra iodo mercurate 2 okay is the nessless reagent alkaline solution so alkaline solution mean uh, for example potassium hydroxide dissolved in water okay so but here give the substances mixture of ammonia is given that's a wrong okay is not correctly matched maybe here is potassium hydroxide or they mention the word alkaline solution means that is correct one but here mentioning ammonia is wrong so the correct substance is potassium hydroxide okay is the nessless reagent so this nessless reagent it used uh, even practical also we are using to identify the uh, substance okay to identify the organic substance it can uh, it react with aldehyde and to use acids okay this is the function of nessless reagent aldehyde converted into acid okay so here is not correctly matched option is b see the second question while extracting an element from its ore okay so this question is extraction question extract the element from its ore okay children studied in 10th as well as 11th extraction question uh, for example copper okay iron in 10th also studied aluminium extraction copper extraction iron extraction in extraction topic we study extract the metal okay extract means separate from separate the metal from its ore for example hgs the previous question see the formulas hgs chinna bar from this hgs now extract hg okay so this process known as extraction but here it involve many steps okay is not possible to get directly if uh, from hg s to hg it involve in between to arise many steps oxidation reduction uh, roasting okay electrolytic refining so after the long process we get the metal from the ore okay so extraction okay now you know the meaning element from its ore 
okay is grind and leached with the dilute KCN solution to form soluble product of potassium argentocyanide the element is children I give the clue this topic studied in the first lesson okay in leaching process leaching process you know very well the ore dissolve in the particular solvent okay at the same time whenever it dissolve the insoluble substance settled at the bottom we called it as gangu or impurities okay so now in leaching process just remove the impurities this is the main aim okay children okay so now here the question is war don't know we are going to find out now react with kcn kcn to gives potassium okay potassium argento cyanide this one for soluble in the clue okay soluble product of potassium argento cyanide what is the element so now to identify okay so from this here the sub metal is silver so automatically what is the reactant here also a silver okay so ag2s plus kcn2 gives k a g c n twice are you clear children okay so here option is m1 chromium iron and silver is given okay so now from this from this uh, formula we find the metal okay silver is the metal potassium also metal but here this is the transition metal so now react with the potassium cyanide to give potassium argento cyanide argento silver okay so the metal is ag okay the correct option is silver once again extracting element from its bore okay so grinding one of the process leaching is another process with the potassium cyanide to give the product the product is a soluble one the product name is this one so from the product name we come to the assumption the element is silver next question which of the following statement is correct this is a positive type of question when SO2 is passed through acidified potassium dichromate solution okay children so potassium dichromate with SO2 is passed acidified acidified mean in presence of acid okay acid means sulfuric acid hydrochloric acid whatever but here SO2 so sulfuric acid okay so now write the equation potassium dichromate K2 Cr2 O7 the acidified H2 SO4 okay and pass the sulfur dioxide to use what is the product children here SO4 here K potassium positive chromium positive here SO4 minus so write the product K2 SO4 plus next to chromium okay Cr2 SO4 thrice next hydrogen oxygen plus water molecule so now to get the product okay children now read the option green CRT SO3 SO4 thrice is formed solution turns blue color the solution is decolorized SO2 is reduced children now from this equation I feel you can guess the answer okay so here CR2 SO4 thrice is formed are you clear children here the solution turns blue okay here the green color solution is up, uh, appeared okay so no blue color next no decolorization SO2 is not reduced SO2 with the substance how to produce the sulfate SO4 2 minus is produced sulfate ions this one for test for sulfate ions K2SO4 2 minus here also SO4 2 minus so SO2 is not reduced so the correct option is green CR2 SO4 thrice is formed once again 
which of the following statement is correct first to find it is um, find out it's a positive type of question okay so2 passed through acidified potassium dichromate so from that to write the equation from this equation come to the conclusion option is a next question which of the following process does not involve oxidation of iron once again which of the following process does not involve oxidation of iron okay iron oxidation state plus 2 and plus 3 okay so here question does not involve oxidation of iron in any uh, chemical reaction from reactant to product the oxidation number increases or decreases okay whatever here does not involve oxidation can you understand the question children okay so see the first option liberation of h2 from water by iron at a high temperature now write the reaction liberation of h2 h2 is liberated from water h2o with iron fe plus h2o to use h2 okay so the next product is fe3o4 plus h2 okay children now in the elementary state the oxidation state is zero here to find out the oxidation state okay children now find out the oxidation state of iron here 3x okay per oxygen minus 2 here 4 oxygen so minus 8 equal to 0 okay so 3x equal to plus 8 x equal to 8 by 3 so what about the oxidation state of fe3o4 in fe8 by 3 okay children see the second one rusting of iron sheet rusting of iron sheet iron oxidation okay it involves the rusting process so the product is fe2o3 dot h2o okay so here iron oxidation state is 3 here 0 here 3 and next one decolorization of blue copper sulfate solution by iron so third option write the reaction copper sulfate cusso4 okay plus iron to gives what is the product feso4 cu okay displacement feso4 plus cu here oxidation state is zero here oxidation state yes so for two minus so this one for plus two so iron plus two oxidation state now see the option d formation of feco5 from fe fe okay oxidation state it is a elemental state zero to form feco5 are you clear children okay so in feco5 find out the iron oxidation state consider as x okay plus 5 times co5 times co is a neutral ligand so 0 equal to 0 so x equal to 0 here also 0 are you clear now read the question which of the does not involve oxidation of iron here no oxidation here also zero oxidation state here also zero oxidation state but the remaining everything here 0 to 8 by 3 0 to 3 here 0 to plus 2 it involved in the oxidation process okay but here no oxidation process this here pco5 is a neutral compound are you clear so what is the correct option option d formation of feco5 from fe children next question out of ti f62 minus co f63 minus cu2 cl2 and nicl4 2 minus the colorless species are okay here some pairing is given okay in the option pairing is given now to find out which pairing uh, is a colorless okay so first we know how to to identify okay so here um, based on the electrons in d orbital 
the electron is 0. The denoter no electron or D10. Okay. So D0 or D10, the particular element is a colorless one. That's all. Okay. So based on now, you want to work out one by one. So now I take the first TIF6. TIF6. 2 minus. First to find out the oxidation state of titanium. Okay, children. Here, X. Fluorine minus. 1 fluorine minus 1. So, 6 minus 6 equal to minus 2. So, X equal to 6 minus 2 equal to 4. Okay. So, titanium plus 4. That's all. Okay. So, next. Titanium atomic number. Scandium, titanium. So, titanium atomic number 22. So, 3D2, 4S2. Are you clear, children? Here, titanium 4 plus. So, this 4 electron is last. So, here, 3D0. As well as 4S also 0. Okay. Next. Take the next combination. CO, F6. 3 minus. First to find out the oxidation state. X minus 6 equal to minus 3. So, X equal to plus 6 minus 3. So, plus 3. Cobalt oxidation state is plus 3. Okay. Cobalt 27. Atomic number 27. So, 3D7 4S2. Are you clear children? 3D7, 4S2. Here plus 3 states. So 2 plus 1, 3 electron it is last. So remaining 3D6 configuration. Okay. So next Cu2, Cl2. Cu2, Cl2. Find out the copper oxidation state. 2X. Okay. 2X minus 2 equal to 0. So, 2x equal to plus 2. x is equal to 2 by 2. 2 by 2, 1. So, here copper oxidation state, Cu plus. Okay. Copper, 29. 3D9, 4S2. Okay. 3D9, 4S2. Copper. Writing here, copper, 29. So, 3D9, 4S2. Okay, in Cu plus, so last one electron, okay. So last one electron mean what about here 3D9, 4S1. Are you clear? Okay, so last one nickel. Ni, Cl4, 2 minus. Find out the oxidation state. Ni, Cl4, 2 minus. The oxidation state, X. Okay. Chlorine minus 1. Perchlorine. Here 4. Minus 4. Equal to minus 2. X equal to plus 4. Minus 2. So plus 2. Ni plus 2. Nickel. Atomic number. Nickel. Atomic number 28. 3D8. 4S2. Okay. Here last of 2 electrons. So remaining 3D8. Are you clear, children? Okay. So, next. Here, titanium 3D0. I already, I told the condition. When the substance is colorless, it possible mean D orbital 0 or D orbital 10. For this two category, now the particular compound is the colorless one. Okay. So, here 3D0. Okay. So, wherever our titanium here no titanium. So titanium, titanium. So now take this two. Okay. Between this two, any one. So next COF6. Here 3D6. Just leave it. Here 3D9, 4S1. Due to symmetry, now electron transfer from 4S orbital to 3D. Okay. So now 3D, it are time. 3D10. 
this is exceptional one okay already studied in 11th standard chromium as well as copper children so now 3d10 so d0 or d10 it is a colorless okay so where is the combination here titanium here cobalt is given cobalt 3d6 so what is the correct option children option b is the correct one children i hope you can understand this question once again here titanium four substances given find out the colorless so colorless condition the substance d orbital 0 or d orbital 10 the particular substance is the colorless one so first to find out the oxidation state and next to apply in the 3d orbital so among this which one is a d0 as well as d10 now select the and option so here b is the correct one children next to question which statement is true there's a positive type of question about transition elements option high reactive high the how low melting point variable oxidation state high electropositive children uh, in the periodic table it move from left to right electronegative character increases but here the d block electropositive okay but uh, comparing s block is a more electropositive character okay it move from left to right electronegative character is increases now transition element it is present in the center okay so next they show variable oxidation state in s block as well as b block a particular minimum two uh, uh, one or two the oxidation state is present but in d block per element um, is a possible for nearly six or seven or eight oxidation state is possible okay and next one high react highly reactive so this one metals are reactive okay but at the same time s block is a highly reactive so compared to d block s block is more reactive okay so here a low melting point also okay for all the element it is not as a low melting point some exception case alone is very very low melting point okay so is true about the transition element mean the correct uh, option is they show variable oxidation state even if you take the magnus okay in the d block first series magnus the oxidation state is plus 2 to plus 7 okay so here n minus 1 d as well as n s electronic configuration is present so it uh, possible more oxidation state variable oxidation state is occurs so the correct option is option c next question in your reaction ferrous ion is oxidized to ferric ion okay ferrous ferric ion to oxidation state to valency okay one is plus two and another one is plus three plus two ion we call it as ferrous fe plus three ferric okay so ferrous ion is oxidized to two so fe plus two oxidized to fe plus three okay so one electron is last. Are you clear? Next, the equivalent weight of ion in the above reaction. There is the question, what about the equivalent weight? Okay, so now we know the equivalent weight formula. Okay, equivalent weight equal to atomic weight. Atomic weight by number of electron last or gain this is a formula equivalent weight formula atomic weight by number of electron last or gain here one electron it is last okay atomic weight by one so what about the answer equivalent weight equal to atomic weight that's all okay children okay now read the option the equivalent weight of ion in the above reaction is equal to atomic weight 1 by 5 of atomic weight half of atomic weight twice the atomic weight so 
which one is the correct option equal to equal to atomic weight so option a is the correct one next question in which of the following the sol stability of two oxidation state is correctly represented stability of two oxidation state is correctly represented stability stable okay when the atom is stable how did you identify the particular atom or the element is stable mean already study the outer electronic configuration is half filled or completely filled okay so am half filled and completely filled first give the preference for half filled okay because in half filled according to hans rule now the more exchange of energy is possible okay children so now to identify the electrons okay so half filled or completely filled or partially filled from the partially or half filled or completely filled we come to the conclusion okay so the element the contain the outer valence electron it must contain half filled okay so it is more stable so now see here fe plus 2 and fe plus 3 okay ion atomic number 26 3d 6 4s 2 okay children here fe plus 2 okay so 3d6 fe plus 2 it is a 3d6 and fe3 plus 2 and 1 okay so remaining 5 3d5 okay so next titanium first one is over titanium Titanium atomic number, scandium, titanium, twenty two, three d two, four s two. Here three, so one, two and one. So remaining three d one. Next in titanium plus four, four electron it is last. So three d zero. Okay. So next one, M N plus two, manganus. Twenty five, three d five, four s two. Okay, m n plus two two electron it is last so remaining three d five. Okay, here m n three plus so two one three electron it is last so three d four. And next c u plus copper twenty nine. Electronic configuration. 3d 9 4s 2 okay here cu plus so cu plus 3d 9 4s 2 due to symmetry 3d 10 4s 1 okay 3d 10 4s 1 so in cu plus 4s 1 electron it is last so 3d 10 okay cu plus 2 3d 10 4s 1 So one and one two electron it is removed. So remaining three d nine. Okay, children. So now see the question. Stability of two oxidation state is correctly represented. Okay. So two oxidation state. Among this, now one two two check. Here three d six. Okay, three d five. So here six partially filled. So leave it. Next, three D one, three D zero. Here only one electron. Just leave it. Is not stable. Okay, partially filled. Here three D five. Okay, so three D five is a half filled. Is denoted as half filled. So is more stable. At the same time, see the last one, three D ten and three D nine. But compare this. Maybe sometimes I doubt three D five and three D ten both also it is possible. Possible, but according to exchange energy concept, here more possible exchange is possible. Okay, so now the correct option is M N plus two and M N plus three. So 
option C. Are you clear children? So stability denoted as the when the atom is stable mean half filled configuration as well as completely. But comparing half filled and completely filled, half filled is more stable because here more exchange energy is possible.